Hello you awesome people and welcome to a rather special video that I decided to give you uh, after I had uh, some comments from people asking me if I could hold lessons for them or if I could do some writing lessons videos uh, I am too... Uh, well, what can I say? Nervous? Or uh, I feel like I can't really do a writing lessons video where I tell you what to do in a, in a video uh, for like like a whole writing lesson an hour which is or maybe not an hour like 45 to 55 minutes uh, but what I did realize is that on my blog my Swedish blog I did do a series of posts on writing lessons tips on what to think about on uh, stuff like uh, when you hold a writing lessons for your club uh, so uh, I decided why should why don't I do it as a video as well uh, but first of all, I want to tell you, I am not a writing teacher in real life. I have no certificate for that at all. I have been riding uh, uh, mostly Icelandic horses uh, when I was younger. Uh, I don't ride anymore. Uh, so just so you know that whatever I say, if you don't agree with me or anything, that is just how it is. Uh, what I'm mostly going to foc about, focus about in this video is how you can hold a riding lesson here for your club or your friends uh, here on Star Stable Online, uh, which is becoming a more and more popular event in clubs. Uh, so let's get to it! Um, I want to start with saying that writing lessons in the game has its limitations, as you probably already know. We don't have any cones that we can use, we cannot do all the kinds of stuff like uh, riding uh, on the side way with your horse, uh, or uh, how to walk faster or slower with your horse. Any we have our limitations, we have what we can have, and that makes it more important for us to have uh, to use our ma imaginations uh, but also to do a bit of role playing uh, to make it feel more like a writing lessons and I will get to it more uh, you will probably get to know what I f mean about this as I am giving you more and more of my tips um, but it, what is also very important I you don't have to be uh, a pro at horses. Uh, you can do a lot of research yourself by just googling. Uh, but it is, I feel, a, a good... It is good to have a bit of background when it comes to riding lessons. If you have been to a riding lessons before in your life, you probably know a few of the stuff that I'm saying, uh, like conduct rules that I will get to soon, and that you will feel like, well, that is obvious. But for people who haven't been riding horses or have been to riding lessons, these are not uh, sort of obvious to them, basically. Uh, so, yes, let's get to it. Let's go to rules. So the first rule I'm going to talk about is what your student should wear during your riding lessons. Uh, safety is very important. Uh, also, this is something that has to do with imagination and role playing to make it feel more believable. Uh, so it is very important that you say to your uh, riding students that they should wear a helmet uh, at least in Sweden it is law that up to when you are 18 years old you should wear you are supposed to wear a helmet during when you're on a horse um, so that is very important that they should all have a helmet on their head uh, other things that are really good to say is that they should have riding clothes like I am wearing right now riding pants a good shirt that doesn't really have any hood or anything uh, it should probably actually be with sleeves uh, depending on what you're going to do uh, if you're like out in the woods you should have sleeves on uh, but if you're in the riding arena I'm, I don't know then maybe short sleeves is okay uh, gloves uh, should be have uh, had and also good riding uh, boots or uh, well yeah <laughs> uh, so that is very important and for the horse a good bridle good saddle a blanket and uh, depending on what you're going to do either uh, well leg wraps uh, if you're doing dressage leg wraps like the ones my horse is wearing right now or uh, some other leg wraps that I'm going to show you later on in this video 
Something else that is really good to keep in mind and have as a rule on your event is to keep distance from each other. I know in the game you can go through each other with no problem, but in real life horses tend not to like it when you are too close to them uh, from behind or on the side. Or they, they just don't... They are pack animals, but uh, they like to keep their personal space. Uh, so keep in mind, have at least a horse length between y between you uh, when you're on a riding lessons. Uh, it can be really hard in some exercises, I know, but try to keep that uh, rule as much as possible. Another rule that I have on my lessons is that uh, that you don't have to have. Uh, this is only something that keeps uh, that gets me sort of riled up. Is anyone do this? Uh, that is, if I've told my students to walk in to walk along the full school, and uh, then they are getting too close to the one that is before them, and they decide to switch place, that they basically run to the other place. <laughs> this is not okay at all because I mean if we are going to me keep it realistic and uh, do the role playing in you <laughs> just you just don't go all full can all full gallop uh, to the other side of the riding hall at all uh, keep to the so basically keep to the gate that has been said there is no stress if you want to change or just do a circle keep on doing it in a walk don't stress it's okay Keep in mind that you as the writing teacher are basically the owner of the chat during your event. You should have a rule that says to every student that there are no that much talking during your writing lessons because that chat is booked for your voice only. If they want to ask something they can uh, put up a question mark, uh, of course, that because they should be able to ask you stuff, but that chat should be clean from only your words so everyone can see what's going on. No chaos in the chat. Another rule I am having during my lessons is that uh, because of the writing hall being in a very weird size that makes it sort of weird to do some of the figures that you tend to do during a writing lessons, I have the invisible wall uh, to make it more rectangular and perfect. So the, 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 no, the invisible walls goes from this pole right here and then you can see down on the ground there is a light part where I tend to actually be riding on. Like this is the tr full school trail. Uh, so the invisible go wall goes right between these poles. Uh, I don't want to see any students on the other side of this. Of course, in the beginning, it was really hard for them to find, to remember, uh, to go here. Uh, but just try to keep remembering them that this is the invisible wall that should be kept when you are doing writing lessons in the writing hall. And that is, as I said, is because it makes the it makes the uh, writing arena more rectangular and uh, realistic to how it is in real life. Of course, the letters are placed still perfectly to be used, uh, even though there are sort of outside invisible wall. You can still go from here over to K, for example. And now to you some general tips before we continue on. Plan your lessons, it is very important. Have something to write them all down and plan them from the warm up to the unwind part. Everything should be planned and maybe even have a plan B in case you get more time or uh, if there is a lack of time. Uh, keep in mind there will be people who don't know anything about horses on your lessons and so you should be patient and have several explanations ready for them uh, in case they are not really getting what you're saying. Uh, like, Or you can use a friend or yourself to show the exercises in case you can't really explain it any further. Uh, if you have no cones for any exercises, you can use yourself and your horse as a cone. Of course, that is only two, but if you have a friend in the club that doesn't really want to be in the riding lessons, you can ask them if they would like to be a cone. Just stand there and basically be there. <laughs> uh, so, yes, those were my general tips. Let's go on! Now for a very important part to have during your writing lesson, and that is the warm-up. 
you cannot start a writing lesson uh, just going straight to the exercise. All your students need a warm up with their horses. You can start with uh, free to uh, a usual warm up is about to 10 to 15 minutes in the game. Uh, in real life, it could be 15 to 20 minutes, but to, I, I tend to just uh, take it down a tiny bit. Uh, but of course, you can keep it to realism and uh, have a warm up that is 15 to 20 minutes if you want. Uh, but I usually do it that uh, they walk uh, around uh, for about three to five minutes and uh, softening up their horses with some circles and just warm warming up uh, smoothly. And then after that, we, you can go over to trot uh, where they continue softening up their horses with some uh, with some circles around, make them uh, smaller and smaller. And of course, in the last bit, if you want to, you can go over to do the canter, uh, just for a tiny bit. And that should be it and well for them to then start off with exercises. And as I said, 10 to 15 minutes. You should also plan an on the wind part in the end of your lessons. And I tend to leave them to be about four to five minutes where they trot off their horses. And just trotting off maybe on the full school or they have free uh, hands to just move around as they want. Uh, just trot them off, nothing serious. They don't have to do circles or anything just to get the horses pulses down. Uh, when you can either ask them uh, if uh, to feel themselves when they feel ready to get to um, turn it into a walk, or uh, you could uh, keep time and uh, say about four to five minutes, uh, they can go over to just walking around, and that is when you tell them to let the horses get the long reins so they can stretch out and just walk around smoothly. Uh, again, you cannot really do this in the game, but just saying that gives a more uh, realistic and a bit of role playing into the, your writing lessons. Uh, when you have done this uh, a few times, you uh, your students will be able to do warm ups on their, uh, for themselves, and you can just say now uh, you have about ten to fifteen minutes of warm up go ahead and they can uh, have their own free will to walk as long as they want um, but just keep in mind uh, you can tell you can actually have like a lessons where uh, a whole writing lessons about warming up uh, but yes keep in mind that not all your writing students w might be able to attend that so you will always have to remind some that okay you get your free range but remember to walk three to four minutes uh, no, three to five minutes, and then you can go over to trot and canter as you wish. Now to the actual usual events that you can use uh, during your riding lessons. Uh, let's first off with dressage, and uh, that is when you usually are here in the riding arena or an empty paddock somewhere else. Uh, I prefer to be in the riding arena because this is the only place that has the letters and it makes it just a lot easier to do figures So, because the student has somewhere to uh, know that if they're gonna do a circle at C, well they know where C is. <laughs> you uh, don't really have that in other paddocks. I have been wishing for that for years but so far nothing. Hopefully somewhere, someday we will have letters in all paddocks as well. Uh, but yes, uh, uh, during a dressage lesson you can have exercises where the students get to do some riding figures and here are some that I can show you right now.
doing dressage lessons is uh, most fun for a riding teacher, but it is very important to keep it uh, so uh, to give a lot of variations for the students. Also, something that you can do uh, for the students to make it more harder is for them to is to tell them to use the m computer mouse to turn instead of using your uh, keys. That uh, gives you a lot smoother uh, circles if you hold the mouse button down and the horse moves around uh, all by themselves and you don't have to click the key okay, all the time. Uh, so that is a very good to have as a writing lessons to only use the computer mouse and then in the future to make it more harder for them uh, to use the computer mouse to steer. Uh, something that is also very good is not to always be in a riding arena. You can always go out in nature, find a field or a forest and use the nature uh, for dressage lessons. Trees can be cones, uh, a big field can be a big uh, riding arena. You don't have any letters but uh, maybe you can go to this after you've been here a few times and students got starting to get to know uh, how a riding arena work, works, because then uh, it will not be that different to go outside. Uh, it is a lot more fun for students to have some different environments and also for the horses to be outside in nature. They love it. Find a good paddock with obstacles, for instance like Marley's, uh, the riding arena or Golden Leaf Stables paddock where I am right now. Have about two exercises and plan for a small little course for them to jump in the end. I love Golden Leaf Stables because they have some uh, realistic obstacles to use during a riding lessons and also it is kind of free to make your own, uh, your own course here while the others stand on the side and watch. Don't forget when you warm up during a show jumping is that the horse is that your students get to jump one obstacles before you start your lessons. Uh, this uh, uh, obstacle for instance is one of my favorites where they get to jump it about two times and then you are ready for your lessons. <laughs> There are tons of places on your rig where you can find uh, where you can have lessons because of there are tons of obstacles around uh, the island. Uh, but try to find a place with lots of different obstacles and series, like in Fergo, where we are right now, where you can find uh, where you can make your own small course or uh, uh, you can have some series. Um, like here in the sheep paddock, just ignore the sheep. You can do a lot of different uh, exercises before you go out uh, into nature more. They can have like more of a uh, controlled um, lessons. And then when you feel that your students are ready, you can go outside the paddock if you feel like it. Uh, but again, do your research on how to have lessons in cross country and remember that in cross country it is very important to inform your students that safety is very important.
So those were my tips on how to hold a writing lesson here in Star Stable Online. Uh, another general tip is to uh, keep some fun facts or uh, some information to why you're doing some of the exercises you are doing to actually teach some of the students something and not just do exercises. Uh, try to inform them why we're do why you're doing what you're doing uh, so to make it even more realistic and as I said before Google 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 you can find a lot on Google or even YouTube if you would like that uh, I hope you find this uh, informational and uh, something uh, that makes you even want to hold the writing lessons uh, it is very fine fun I know it is very uh, nervous in the beginning but nowadays I've done so many writing lessons for the club that it is more like um, relaxing time for me to just hold them and uh, so yes i hope you had fun watching this and uh, uh, i am done with my writing tips <laughs> so uh, thank you for watching stay awesome as always and i'll see you next time bye bye